Wow. Well, you tell me it's going to be a, a bamboo villa. <laughs> what do you think? Something very different, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god guys, we made it to our next accommodation and welcome to Velovana in Bali in Siedemann, located in Siedemann and I will give you now a room tour because this Airbnb is next level. Follow me. So you can see already it's like everything from bamboo, it's built with bamboo and the name of this Airbnb is actually Cobra, Cobra like the snake and you will see it if I blend in a drone shot right now why it's called Cobra because the roof um, it's built like it looks like the Cobra like you know <laughs> okay follow me Come inside. so here we have the kitchen area the fridge is underneath you even can cook something with this little stove we have some water a sink and then we go here into the living room. Oh well, it's a bedroom as well. We have here our first bed. So this bed is already really special and really fancy. It has a remote and what this remote can do, I will show you right now. Let's go. How cool was that? Now let me do the test. <laughs> I have to jump really high. So right now my view, what I'm seeing is actually Mount Agung. But there are clouds right now so we can't see it. But tomorrow morning for sunrise we will be able to see Mount Agung. And I can imagine how stunning that will look like. Also right in front of me I can see our pool which we will show you later as well a bit more closer. Now we will go upstairs to the second bedroom. Let's go upstairs guys. Wow, look at that view. And welcome to our second bed and I think the bed where we will sleep in because this bed has a mosquito net and I'm a little afraid of mosquitoes because they love me <laughs> so I think we're gonna sleep here because the view is also amazing from here okay should I do the test again I have the feeling this one is more comfy let's do it Ooh, <laughs> okay. it's the same actually same thing so now here on my left you can see a net the famous, um, I don't know, I think I only have seen it in Bali, the last in Bali Airbnbs and it's just perfect for photos and in general. I mean, how cool is it to chill here and relax here? Should I go into it? I think that's my first net at all. I haven't stayed in a villa with a net, so let's, let's do it. Do the test. I'm a bit scared. Should I just... No, <laughs> I don't jump. No, do the test. <laughs> I 
Ben voila! <laughs> How cool is this, guys? I love it. I'm sure we will take some really cool pictures here tomorrow. And now let's continue our tour. So be careful when you walk here. You can actually... Whoa! Yeah, it just happened. My feet uh, went into one of those holes. And you can even charge your phone here. Just like a plug. Okay. Ooh, let's go back up. Now let's go back down. So over here guys you have a little mirror, looks really cute with this one, nearly looks like a lion. <laughs> okay, let's show you the bathroom. So here you have to be careful if the bed is there. Over there we also have a little dining table where you can get a romantic cute candlelight dinner set up if you want to, but it's an additional charge. And now on your right side. You have some towels first, so cute. I really love everything about it, like the whole design, it's just so cool. And then you have here your outdoor shower. If you want privacy, you can put these curtains. And then over here, how cool is the toilet? You literally sit on a throne when you make your business. <laughs> okay, so... Over here you have some necessities like shampoo, shower gear, uh, toothbrush, a hair dryer even. And here's your sink. This is also really, really cool. I mean, the people who designed that, it's like, oh my god, I love it. Okay, let's show you the pool. So you go down here. This is the pool with this amazing view of Mount Angung. And then also if you swim here, you can e even enter the bedroom, the downstairs bedroom. There's a ladder which you can climb up. And then also there's like a window, a glass window, which you can see through. Let's go test it out. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, so we can no, I'm not jumping like this. But we will blend in some b-roll for you. So you can see it and imagine it better. So it's my turn. So Karina did show you guys a walkthrough of this beautiful accommodation. Now it's my turn to talk about the technical sides of the food, the cost, and I guess the little things that you should know before coming here. So let's talk about the food. You're probably wondering, there's no close restaurant in Silliman. It's usually just warung. But here at this um, accommodation, is you can actually get food. So right next to your bed, you have the menu cards. So this is like your food, your drinks, and um, I guess your breakfast menu as well. So appetizers, main, and then your dessert, salad, soup. I would say the price range would be between medium. It won't, it, I wouldn't say it's on the cheap side, I wouldn't say it's on the expensive side. Uh, depending where you're coming from, obviously it's still pretty affordable. Also, we ordered the crispy calamari for 80K. And then the nasi goreng, we ordered that for 68k. Now, I've been eating a lot of nasi goreng in the last three days, and I must say that this actually is a cheaper nasi goreng compared to the last two nights we had in Ubud. I'm gonna tell you it's because the nasi goreng that I ate last night was 99k, and the, nine, the night before that I actually paid six, uh, sorry, 80k. So, is it actually really expensive here? I guess you'll have to uh, figure that out yourself. So that's the food menu, you can actually get a lot, but if you don't want to eat here, there is a couple of places here, you know, the traditional warung areas where you can eat cheap as well. Uh, now let's talk about um, also what you can get. You can get a floating breakfast as well for 300k, I believe. And then Karina was saying that we can also get a candlelight, uh, candlelit dinner set up for you for 500k. So that's an option if you want a romantic dinner pretty much looking at this view by the rice field and hopefully when the clear skies you see Mount Agung as well. Now the one that you guys have been waiting for is how much is it to stay here per night. Now let me tell you that in New Zealand dollars we spent 281 New Zealand dollars for the night and if you want to talk about local currency that is 2.6 or 2.7 million per night. So I would say it's actually pretty good considering in New Zealand 
it's pretty expensive to get a nice five-star hotel anyway so this is quite a magical unique accommodation that you can only get here in Bali so and there is also one last thing that you need to remember it's when you are booking a place like this it's quite open space which means you don't have the luxury of having an AC aircon if you're one of those people. We do have an electric fan, so that will keep most of the mosquitoes away. But Karina was saying that we do have another bed with a mosquito net, which is good for you if you're not very keen for the mosquitoes. Um, yeah, Wi-Fi. Is there internet here in a place like this when it's open? And the answer to that question is, yes, they do. That's very rare actually to have something like that set up but the infrastructure here has been set up. I have never seen like a three bamboo house like this made before. It's modern actually. They got plugs, they got everything, it's equipped. And look, the food's have arrived, so let's go. And food has arrived. Thank you so much. That's nasi goreng and the calamari. Crispy calamari. Thank you, Makasi. And as I said, the food has arrived just perfectly in time. Um, and what did you order? Oh, calamari, right? The calamaris are really tiny, but very crispy. And then we have this little, I'm not sure, like a sauce, and it's really spicy. But, um, uh, <laughs> looks like yeah. egg. Looks like scrambled eggs. And it's not, <laughs> but it's not. Well, I better dig into the food actually just because I'm seeing flies and we got some red ants here so as I was saying we are we have invited the ants to come to eat with us as well yeah. so uh, I better eat first before they, they eat my the, food. They love the papaya <laughs> mm. because it's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so what a nice way to check in um, we're just gonna settle in a little bit and I guess enjoy and see the area but I mean we just really literally just checked in so we have no plans other than unpack a few things and make our, our, ourselves welcome, I guess. So let's eat and I'll see you guys very shortly. Agus, our driver. Hello. <laughs> Hello, good <to the> luck. <laughs> let's talk about Agus. Agus yes. took us to, uh, to this place here all the way from Ubud. So he was our personal driver that took us here. And how long did it take us to drive from here? Ubud so, to Sidemann. Yeah. So Ubud to Sidemann is around one hour. One hour. Traffic. Yeah, it felt like 20 minutes because I went to sleep. Yes. So, <laughs> but uh, we appreciate it so much. And I think um, this place, uh, Sedimen, is quite a village place, huh? Yes. So everything right. here is like Warung. So Warung is really for if you want to buy some kids or something. something so like this that. is uh, Sedimen is 100% about uh, pure nature and 100% village area in Bali. Wow, amazing. Yeah. So yeah, it's uh, there's a lot to show you guys because this place is like just mind-blowing I've never seen bamboo constructed like this before so uh, other than that if you need to book um, and you're looking for a personal driver definitely head to Agus and go check out his uh, number personal in our description down below but anyway thank you so much for taking us here with Terima pleasure Terima kasih and summer summer yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still know okay guys so it's already dark we totally forgot to like keep you updated we actually took some photos we did one reel because I mean you can't um, it's so beautiful here we had to do some content for ourselves we paid for this accommodation it's not a collab and yeah now we ordered dinner I ordered spaghetti bolognese and chicken curry which we can share and tomorrow morning we get a complimentary floating breakfast where I'm really looking forward to and yeah it's not that hot it's a little humid but um, and it rained a little bit just a few teardrops but not that much I saw in stories that in Ubud and like Chengdu it really rained so we were lucky here we didn't have to rain and we saw Mount Agung a little bit it came out of the clouds so that was pretty cool and I hope tomorrow morning we have a really nice sunrise and we see you guys tomorrow. Good night. And good morning. What a sleep. <laughs> uh, check this out guys. Look at this. Going down. And it feels so real. Unreal. 
Good morning, love. Good morning, and breakfast has already arrived, and it's floating at the pool in the pool. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still sleepy, so I'll go back to bed. <laughs> oh look, another bed. Ah, so relaxing. Breakfast is already here. We're actually having a floating breakfast, so you guys can see. And the time has come to have the floating breakfast. But first, what did we do actually last night? Since well, then? we didn't end up doing that much. So we had mm. our food, which was okay. Yeah, like the spaghetti were a little interesting. But um, the nasi go oh, what did you order? Nasi goreng. No, chicken curry, right. Oh. So chicken curry yeah. was really good. I liked that. And we always share food anyway, so. Yeah, we're gonna go eat now because this food has been sitting here for yeah. almost an hour and a bit. <laughs> so I will see you guys very shortly. It's and know, good I know breakfast is gonna be good either way, but it's just a nice way to experience this and share this with all of you guys. So again, if you guys wanna know more about this place, we'll link it down below in the description. And uh, don't forget to hit that like button as well because we appreciate it when you guys like our content. Anyway, time to eat. <laughs> walk it, yes, walk it like a top. Walk it, walk it like a top. Hey, walk it like a top. Wow, guys, first bedroom is here, the second bedroom is there this nice chill out area but what amazes me is the structure of this whole place it's the bamboo the materials they've used well that does look like a car but if you look at it like the mouth's open and everything it's good just had a nice air shower got a bit of hay fever this morning for some reason um so i just packed up a little bit but we have to check out very shortly it still blows my mind to think about this bamboo and if you look above me it looks pretty insane. This is the net that we were upstairs before. Um, but the level of details has gone into this thing. But at the same time, everything I see here has been made craftily. And I just don't know how the, they made and bend these bamboos like that, you know. Like, let's go up here. The moment you look up, the moment you look up here as well, you see it more. Especially the details here as well for the stairs. Just, just little things as, as well, you know. The way they've done that is just so good. <laughs> because my drone just taking a rest and charging. I did chill here before, it was amazing. But here is what I mean. But look at this. See how just natural just does it? I don't know how they do it. So if you know how they do this and you want to explain it to me how they have crafted such a masterpiece like this, because this isn't your traditional bamboo sort of house that you usually see back in the days, so, right? This is a really modern and the way they've designed this definitely has a lot of thinking that went into it. So we are checking out at 12, which is literally in half an hour. So we're just going to really pack up. I guess it's time to pack up and I'll see you guys very shortly. Okay guys, it's time to check out and we ordered a scooter as well, so we will have a scooter to um, yeah, use for the day because we want to visit the temple, how I told you already, but now we have to check out, we're a little late, we just took one last strong shot and yeah, we will check in to our next accommodation which is a really basic one, really cheap, very affordable and just simple, we will show you. See you there!